What's generally the first step to define a planet's habitability? The habitable zone, right? But what if I tell you that some exoplanets present in the habitable zone might not be habitable at all? Hello everyone, I'm Simran and today I'm going to talk about my project titled Calculating Radiation Dose on Exoplanets and Assessing Their Habitability, which I'm doing under the supervision of Dr. Dimitra Atri. Radiation is the factor that can significantly alter the habitability of a planet. Radiations like galactic cosmic rays originate from sources located generally in our galaxy, but outside the solar system. However, the most energetic ones may come from extragalactic sources, whereas the solar proton events are caused by the acceleration of protons either by solar flares or by coronal mass ejections. Earth's magnetosphere acts as a line of defense against these energetic particles. However, they do reach the poles and cause the polar aurora. Some particles that manage to pass through the shield interact with the particles in the atmosphere, resulting in the generation of secondary particles that reach the ground. The more the number of such charged particles reaches Earth, that is a greater flux, the higher we end up with what we call a radiation dose. Secondary particles with higher flux, for example muons, can have serious biological implications such as DNA damage and increase in the mutation rate. Electrons, on the other hand, have small penetrating power and can only cause damage to the superficial layers of most organisms, but they can be lethal for simple life forms. Nonetheless, radiation dose plays a crucial role in defining the habitability of a planet. In this project, we are trying to calculate radiation dose on various exoplanets that are present in the habitable zone of their stars. And that's all about my project. Thank you.